want to just kick, uh, kick off the proceedings uh, with a few words about the objectives of the uh, summit and then introduce each, each of our partners who represented on this rather large panel and they're just going to take two, three minutes to summarize their input for the, uh, the summit and uh, uh, what their organizations are hoping to gain from it. I wanted to uh, start the uh, morning by drawing your attention to a um, clipping from the Business Daily uh, of yesterday, um, which uh, rep uh, reports on a, an FAO report which disclosed that 11 million uh, Kenyans are currently undernourished, uh, with three in every four of all Kenyans having faced hunger in the last three years. And what's more, the situation is actually worse than it was 20 years ago. In 1992, only 8.4 million people were undernourished. With, uh, I, I feel that with statistics like that, um, which I would uh, class as a, an ongoing national disaster, uh, we, we cannot be complacent or smug about progress in Kenya. I don't have statistics on the other East African countries, but I suspect that they're just as bad, if not worse. <clears throat> the sector that we're in, uh, which is information technology, um, you know, it just happens to be information technology. That is the career path, the, um, the industry that all the people on this panel have chosen to pursue their careers in. Um, but be that as it may, we are, it is incumbent on us in that profession, as in any other profession, to do our bit and to focus our resources and energies to address these issues. Hello everybody and thanks very much for being here. Um, I guess just to explain why Internet Solutions has always been keen to uh, participate in the iTech events in particular and, and the upcoming event uh, that's here now is, you know, we believe that in a, in a territory in a region like, like East Africa that we're in and particularly in Kenya, um, the opportunities are really significant and there's a lot of talk about that. Uh, Internet Solutions, um, through its parent company, DD, has obviously just made a fairly significant investment, I'm sure most of you know. Uh, the acquisition of Access Kenya has just uh, been completed and we're now in the process of integrating the businesses. Uh, and we believe that a good communications platform, a strong network and a reliable network is the key to really activating many of the new services and new technologies and new initiatives um, that we're seeing coming out of the region. So. Internet Solutions is very keen to be part of this event, um, but in a, in a broader context, very keen to be part of the delivery of these kinds of solutions, very keen to, to collaborate with um, the players in the industry, with new innovations that are coming about. And, and so for us, the event is interesting because we will go there as an observer ourselves, see where the opportunities are to partner and to collaborate with, um, with new entrepreneurs, maybe some older entrepreneurs with new ideas, um, and, and find real practical ways to take those to the market. I think one of the things that, that for me sometimes is sad is we see some fantastic ideas emerging from the marketplace, but the practical execution and the delivery of those ideas is often a challenge. And, and I think one of the things that we'd like to achieve uh, going forward is to really be part of that uh, delivery and to strategically intervene in places where there are strong opportunities and strong services that should get to the market and, um, and really just need a strong partner and a solid foundation to, uh, to be based on. So thanks again for, for inviting us, Sean. Um, we continue to participate as we always have. We find these events are very useful and, and I hope that everyone will attend.